As the November 2nd trade deadline approaches, too many people are focused on the Miami Dolphins' potential trade for Deshaun Watson. I understand that the trade is a big one, and there is so much that goes into it on and off the field for Miami, but the Dolphins aren't just inquiring about Watson. Miami has been the most disappointing team in the NFL, and their rebuild has failed. Because of this, look for Miami to be sellers at the trade deadline, even if they do trade for Watson. Miami has some veterans on their team that have underperformed or that have done well but could still be dealt. The Dolphins will likely need to rebuild again, so trading a veteran player who does not fit any longer into another rebuild is the right thing to do for the team and the player. The Miami Dolphins will likely trade a player or two of their own. Miami has not been shy while trading, so I am sure they have been very busy as the deadline is one week away. The Dolphins may decide to buy and sell at the deadline, so here are five creative trades for the Dolphins if they are buyers at the deadline outside of Watson. It's clear that the Dolphins need to get aggressive at the deadline, whether that's buying or selling. There are changes needed in Miami, and it will start with the deadline. I think Miami would be smart to trade some of their own players away, as this season is already a wash, and they can get some value for these guys. With that in mind, here for eight Miami Dolphins that could be traded by the deadline. Miami best cornerbacks, Xavier Howard and Byron Jones. These two are the most unlikely players to get traded, but I wouldn't be surprised to see them be traded even though it is unlikely. That may be confusing, but I hope you get what I mean. Let's start with Xavier Howard. People, including myself, questioned his effort on one play of the game in Week 7 against the Atlanta Falcons. Now, I wouldn't go as far as to say he has checked out or doesn't care, but you can see he is frustrated and not having fun. Howard got his contract restructured this offseason, and it was an ugly mess for no reason. The Dolphins handled the whole situation poorly and created even more strain on their relationship with their best player. Howard can still play at an elite level, so I would not be surprised to see Miami decide to get the most value they can for him and trade him away. Then there is Byron Jones. I actually think Howard is more likely to be traded than Jones, but you never know. Trading Jones would be about the salary cap and really diving back into the rebuild form. Jones is one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL, and he could easily be a cornerback's one on another team. Two really bad wide receivers, Preston Williams and Albert Wilson. Miami Dolphins Twitter legends Preston Williams and Albert Wilson have no business being on the Dolphins roster any longer. It was such a great time as Wilson looked great in videos produced by the Dolphins during training camp. Wilson's highlights in shorts were so good that some Dolphins fans and media members were attacking me for saying he isn't good. I let them take their training camp victory laps, predict Wilson would have 800-plus yards and be one of Tua Tungavailoa's top targets. I did that while laughing, knowing that while Wilson may score in training camp, his career numbers speak for themselves. Wilson is a waste of cap space and a roster spot, so Miami should take a 2028 seventh-round pick if they can even get that for him. Williams is next, but luckily he doesn't cost a lot of money. And the reason he doesn't cost a lot of money is because he is not good. Williams was a fan favorite and has quickly fallen out of favor with the fan base as injuries, poor route running, and drops have plagued him. I don't even know what a team would trade for Williams, but Miami should try to get whatever they can for him. Former Philadelphia Eagles reviver Travis Felgum is on the practice squad, and he's better than both of these receivers. Two more cornerbacks, Noah Igbenogany and Justin Coleman. Miami has a lot of cornerbacks on their roster, so a team that needs one for a playoff push may decide to make a move for one. Noah Igbenogany will be a hard sell for some, but there is no doubt in my mind that a general manager will sell themselves on his potential. And I think he still has a ton of potential. Fans want to give Tua Tungavailoa time to progress. Well, Igbenogany should get that time too. The former Auburn cornerback was raw coming out of college, so he needs the fair time to develop. Sadly, the Dolphins have shown they are regressing as developers, so they may decide to move on from their 2021st round pick. I still have some faith in Igbenogany to turn it around, but I would not be surprised one bit if he is moved before the deadline. Then there is Justin Coleman. The 2021 free agent signing has played okay, but he is on a one-year deal and likely not in Miami future plans. Plenty of playoff teams would love some depth at cornerback, and Coleman would be the perfect piece. 
Coleman has played in the slot for Miami this year, and you don't hear his name very much, which is good and bad. He has only played 38.4% of the snaps this season, so moving on from him wouldn't hurt much at all. I do not think any fans would fight the idea of Coleman being traded before the trade deadline. Two more wide receivers, Will Fuller and Devontae Parker. Miami wide receivers can't stay healthy, and Will Fuller v and Devontae Parker are the spokespeople for that. Fuller has been a disaster offseason signing, as the Dolphins paid him $10 million to do absolutely nothing. Fuller has barely even practiced because he has been injured so much and is currently on injured reserve. When healthy, Fuller is a beast, but at this point, Miami can't trust him. There are a lot of rumors regarding Fuller and his reason for signing with Miami and regarding his future with Miami. I always say, where there is smoke, there is fire, so Fuller is a name to keep an eye on. What an embarrassment it would be for the Dolphins to trade Fuller away after getting no production from him, but it's an embarrassment they may have to face. For Parker, let's just finally admit he isn't who many Dolphins fans think he is. Parker is a solid player when healthy, but he's barely ever healthy, and Miami needs more than solid because of how much he is making. I still am mad Miami didn't trade him this offseason because now his value is even worse than it was. If there was one player I think had the highest chance to be traded from the Dolphins, it is Devontae Parker.